Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about the calculator. So, in this lesson, you will learn about your calculator and you will learn how to use your calculator. And two very important things here now is to learn to use the buttons and to learn to do some uh, functions on the calculator. In my classes, we use the TI-84, so you'll need a TI-84, and that's what I'm going to focus on, is the TI-84 calculator. And so, first thing, let's introduce the buttons. There's the on button. The second button, which makes all the blue functions work. And then the alpha, or uh, the green button there, which makes all the green functions work, especially the alphabet. Our enter key down at the right bottom. And then our function keys over on the right. Very important. Y equals uh, for using functions. And second and on will give you off. So there's our first sequence. Our keys over on the side, which are the keys that we use for moving forward and backward and up and down. Also, you can do the second key and use the up and down arrow to control the contrast. We have the clear key over there on the right. We have the delete key. We have the period or decimal. Now that is the negative sign not the minus sign, and don't use minus for negative. You need to use this key right here. Open parentheses and close parentheses. Comma, very important key. And second comma, notice that second comma, gives us EE. That's what we use for scientific notation. Our graph key, so we can take our functions and graph them. The window key, where we can control the window of the graph. All right, let's look at calculating with the calculator. First thing, remember the order of operations, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, and add and subtract. It's very important, and I'm going to assume that you know algebra, and how to use PEMDAS, because your calculator is going to work in that fashion. How would I enter 3 times the quantity 1.30 times 10 to the negative fifth? 3 times 1 decimal, 3 second key, comma, that's the times 10, negative 5. Now pay attention to that. Notice I did not have to use the parentheses. The calculator knows that we are doing scientific notation and will account for that. Hit enter and that's what you should have on your screen. All right, let's try another one. 9.42 times 10 to the fourth plus 881 times 10 to the second power. Now in the old days, we would have to adjust all this, have it to the same power and then uh, add them. But with a calculator, we don't have to do that. 9.42 two second comma four remember second comma takes care of the times ten plus eight hundred eighty one second comma two hit enter and voila there's our answer all right if you have any questions send an email to mr Kazi at mr com. Be sure to check out my website, www.mrkazi.com or mrkazi'sworld.com, and you will find uh, all kinds of information there. Also, go to my YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe. Happy Ons, everyone.